These are difficult financial times, and reducing store shrink to recover lost profits has never been more important. In fact, proactively reducing store shrink is likely to be your most direct route to real profit improvement, competitive advantage, and survival. This information-packed video series by Larry Miller is entitled The Total Store Manager. Larry is the recognized loss prevention authority, and in this series, he will reveal to you a wealth of valuable tips and techniques that you can start using now to reduce and even eliminate the shrink losses that are robbing your bottom line. Don't miss any of the 14 segments that will be presented right here. Then plan to bring Larry in for a live, upbeat, and highly productive store manager training workshop at your company. Watch this video segment of the Total Store Manager and discover the 11 vital points of control that must be present to drive improved profits in your stores. Past experience has proven that making use of this information could easily add 20 to 30 percent to your bottom line profits this year. Control shrink is to drive sales. I'm going to show you exactly how. We have to understand store managers, there's only one objective, and that is yours is to improve sales, improve consistency and efficiency in store conditions, customer service and operating controls. That's your job. So Bob, next time I ask you, I want you to quote that. Right? Feel free to quote it and don't even use me as the byline. You may take it as your own. How do you do that? You have to start every single day with a purposeful store walk. Purposeful being the operative word. All store managers walk their stores. All store managers do not see their stores. All store managers occasionally visit a cooler. Right? All store managers do not see their coolers. All store managers walk through their back rooms. All, not just here, all store managers walk through their back rooms. I guarantee you, most store managers do not see their back rooms. Just like how many of you have teenage boys? Yeah, they don't see their rooms either, right? Teenage girls. They don't see their rooms either. Store managers don't see their back rooms. Store managers don't see their coolers. We're too habit formed, we gotta break the habit. We have to evolve, we have to change our mindset starting today. We start with a purposeful store walk. We conduct one in the morning and one in the afternoon and during that store walk we talk, teach and improve shrink prevention on every single level. You're gonna become a teaching store manager, not just a controlling store manager. We're gonna do that every single day because our number one objective is to improve sales, improve operating and selling consistency, customer service and all operating controls. That's your job, starting today. Now, I know you would have said the same thing, or if I had said that to you and said, is that your job? You were going, eh, that's my job. No, 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 I want you to live it and eat it and breathe it, and I want you to take it to every one of your store managers, or every one of your department managers, or every one of your lead people, or every one of your new hires, every part-time or in between, you have a 70-30 part-time to full-time mix. I want the part-timers to understand it just as sure as the full-timers understand it. I want everybody to get that message. Our job is to improve sales, improve operating consistency and efficiency, definitely take care of the customer, and affect operating controls everywhere we can in the name of more profit. That's our job. Simple, clean. Everybody's got to understand it. Store managers, you are the communications vehicle. Not your owners. Not Food Town store managers. This segment is called the total store manager. First things first, store managers have to change their mindset. There are 11 points of control that I want you to put into your minds and start thinking about, start working each and every day. Some of you have this pass out slide, some of you don't. I want you to take, take notes. I want you to write down those things that are important to you as you see it. These are the 11 points of control that have to be present. We have to have key and access control receiving, ordering it for proper sell through, backroom conditions, inventory turns, selling, effective selling, known loss controls and first loss controls, perishable rule of three. Remember that, we're gonna come back to it. Efficient shoplifting prevention, cashier theft and controls, and hiring and orientation and training. Now, if I really wanted to, I'd flip that whole thing over and tell you that it all starts with effective hiring, orientation, and training. Because the employees in your corporation today are who you have. 
But the employees who come in tomorrow can infuse your organizations with new blood. They can be the new juice, the new understanding, the new consciousness of your stores. So store managers, some of you have been around a long time, right? Don't do it the way you did it yesterday. Let's do it a new way. Let's say that the most important people are not our 20 and 30 year produce managers. You know, he can run a produce department anywhere. He's been doing this for 30 years. Yeah, maybe he's been doing it wrong, right? Maybe he can still do it better, right? Maybe it's time for him to change up some things, right? Everybody can make more money. But if I teach that new kid coming up, I'm going to tell you a secret about him or her in just a couple of minutes. That new kid that gets hired tomorrow, I'm going to tell you a secret about them in just a few minutes, and you're going to like it. You're going to be excited about it. The talent pool is getting better. We all know the talent pool is getting better. The question is, are you going to be the coach that can get top performance out of them? That's going to be the question. That's every coach's job because 62% of all shrink is caused by a breakdown in operating best practices. It's in your store. It's milk in the cow ready to be squeezed out. Less than 10% of that number is shoplifting. How many of you have a shoplifting problem? Please raise your hands. Raise them tall because you'd be proud of your shoplifting problem. Yeah, no, no, keep your hands up. Right? Look around the room, please. A lot of people have shoplifting problems. It, now you may put them down. If you have a shoplifting problem, let me guarantee you you have an employee theft problem. Right? Let me not suggest to you that you have an employee theft problem. Let me guarantee that you have an employee theft problem. And if anybody wants to go, my employees don't steal, I want to go to work for you. Because you aren't looking. You aren't paying attention. Even worse, they're going to steal more. All right? Here's why. Shoplifters are lazy. Right? Say yes. Right. They're lazy. If they weren't lazy, they'd get a job, right? Now, if they're lazy, where do you think they shoplift as a proximity to the place where they live? Near or far? Near. Right? Okay, it's kind of like Sesame Street. Near or far? When people come into your stores to get a job, Honest people come into your stores or people come in and apply for that cashier position or that cloak per clerk position. Do you think that they live near or far? Near. Shoplifters and all of your employees come from the same geological, ge uh, geographical gene pool. They all live together. They're in the same community. They go to the same churches. They go to the same schools. They shop at the same stores. One, they all come to your stores. The difference is one of them works and one of them steals. They happen to go to school together. They know each other, right? I was in a store yesterday. Two, pro, two deli clerks were having the most wonderful conversation with two kids that were standing there that were not working there, right? I noticed them because one of the boys had his pants down to his knees. I swear, they were like down to there. And they were talking about what, what you going to do this weekend? We're having a party. Where do you think they get the food and the beer and the wine and the pop and the chips and everything else for that party? Your stores. Do you think they always pay for it? They don't. It's proven. We know it. So we have to have controls in place because they all come from the same neighborhood, the same schools. They grew up together. The kids who steal and the kids who are honest, they grew up together. They all, indeed, go to the same churches, synagogues, or mosques together. So 10% is shoplifting. The other 52% is caught up in poor execution of best practices in your store. So as a total store manager, your number one offense is changing your mindset today, coming out with new breath, Understanding and focusing on sales, sanitation, and shrink. Being consistent and visible in your stores. Have a presence in your departments. Don't just walk through your departments. Don't just accept what's going on every single day as has been. Take a new breath. I'm going to share with you exactly how to do that. Management and teamwork and friendship. Store managers, let me guarantee you this. Your best partners are your department heads. That's your best partner. You are not there to catch them doing something wrong. 
You are there to help them see opportunities. Department managers, your best partner is your store manager. The store manager is there to help you see things that your daily habits and your daily work may not allow you to see clearly enough. I want store managers and department managers to partner. I want meat merchandisers, deli merchandisers, produce merchandisers to partner with them to make them both better. In 95% of stores I see around the country, and I see hundreds of stores and work with dozens of companies, merchandisers come into the store, they blow in, they blow up, and they blow out. That's pretty much what they do. They blow, come, they blow in, they blow up, they blow out. And they only talk to, really talk to, the department head when they're there. Let's go over this, let's go over the ad, do you have enough coming in, do you have enough going out, do you have this, do you have that, and then they leave. Store manager is never engaged in that conversation in 95% of all stores. My number one challenge to you today is start collaborating better to run better, smarter stores. For information about customized seminars for your store managers, or for specific solutions to your loss prevention problems, contact Larry Miller personally at 602-448-8500 or visit RetailControl.com for free tips, techniques, and lots more.